Good morning, neighbors, and happy Sunday. I hope we're either on our way to praise the Lord or coming back from praising the Lord, or maybe it's the day after whenever you're watching this. It's Sunday for us. So, this is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread, your very word spoken to me, and I, I'm desperate for is the great leveler right there rich poor smart not so smart whatever you may be man woman child we all have to have air to breathe and that is really what this is about without that air we die and without the air that comes from God the spiritual air we will all perish we have to have that source of life within us, uh, and, it, and it needs to be something so needful that we're desperate for it. You know, we're lost without it. It's If you've ever uh, almost drowned or can't, can't catch your breath, and when you finally, <gasps> you know, uh, it was last year I was in this uh, community swimming pool, and this kid, he just he appeared out of nowhere. I don't know where he came from. I was just kind of leaning up against the side, and he just like, flash right in front of me and I just he was with another kid so I just thought oh, I'm just having a good time I guess but he jumped right in front of me but I looked down and his eyes are looking up at me from underneath the water just pure panic and he's just kind of flailing underneath the water and it was so shallow I, I was just standing there so I just reached out my hand and I pulled him straight out when he did he just <gasps> you know and he just 
and he's you know he starts coughing and but in the midst of the cough he's going thank you thank you <coughs> you know and uh but you saw this desperate look in his eyes you know just for a split second before i pulled him out and as we, we we're desperate for this we're desperate for this air that will give us life but we know this when when it comes to die that's how we know someone's gone they're no longer breathing and they're gone but we know this, if we have the breath of heaven within us, the breath that he, g he gave us, we can live eternally. And so I wanted to start, you know, just simply in, in several scriptures. But in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living creature. You know, we are really just born in this life, this natural life, to, we're born to die. But... Adam, you know, before there was sin, you know, the man became a living creature. We were, we are alive when that breath is there. That's when we're declared, you are alive. You have this breath. You know, when a baby's born recently, there was a birth in our church. Congratulations to Olivia and Jonah with a little Mila. But there's this, you know, the, you're wait, for, you wait for this cry. That was one of the things when I became a dad, I was, I don't know why I was so nervous about it. It's like, I as long as I know she's breathing, as long as I know she's crying, when you hear that scream of life, uh, she's gets for I still remember my my daughter's first breath, and uh, we become a living creature. But in Daniel chapter two, or Daniel chapter twelve, sorry, in verse two, and this is talking about the resurrections, and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. And I like, uh, you know they're asleep but some to everlasting life some to shame and everlasting contempt those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever you know we're you know when you're asleep you're wa you're awakening to be awakened and uh but there's still a uh, life there and we know that tho those who have passed on they're waiting for us and uh, we need this breath because as, as long as there's breath in the lungs, there's there, you know there's hope there. As long as, the, as there's breath, and uh, in Job chapter twenty-seven, verse three, as long as my breath is in me and the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not speak wickedness, nor my tongue utter deceit. And I like that because Job, you know, we know the, about the many trials and the terrible things that in the natural he's going through but he realizes as long as god's breath is in my nostrils i am not going to speak i'm not going to use that air to speak wickedness but glorify him and we know this that uh we have to have that breath of life within us and it's just as important was well, actually more important to have that breath of god in us because we will live eternally with his breath in our lungs and We'll use it to praise him and glorify him. So I pray that this Sunday that that's what you're that you're going to do. You're going to use that breath that that he's given you to glorify him. So let's glorify the Lord today, not only with in songs and praise that should be it, but in the words that we speak. Let let us not use it to spew wickedness and hate and anger, but let us use it to glorify him and lift him up and encourage our brothers and sisters and show them how much we love them. So God bless you today. And uh, if you can like and subscribe to this and hit the notification bell, hey, more power to you. God bless you all.